Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, scrapbook paper mini accordion wallet. Whoa, my camera's making this look yellow. Um, so, this was a request from Crafts by Daniela on Instagram. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to do it. It's basically just a normal mini accordion wallet, but on the outside you have some scrapbook paper instead. And of course, um, you can do anything imaginable with this because scrapbook paper it comes in all forms. Also this wasn't created by me. I have no idea who this was created by. I didn't watch a tutorial on how to make this but um, I don't really know who came up with the first design of scrapbook paper in their wallets so sorry about that. It's just everybody's doing it. I have no idea who started it. So the things you're going to be needing uh, you're going to need some scissors or uh, an exacto knife for cutting your tape and paper and such. You're also going to need a piece of Ziploc that's three and a half inches long. Um, and you're going to want to level off the top so that it's the same height and to make sure it's pretty straight. You're going to need some scrapbook paper. I got mine at Joann's. You can get scrapbook paper at basically any craft store, so it shouldn't be a problem for you to find it. You're going to need, as well, a color of duct tape. I'm using cookie dough with this. And then you're also going to definitely need some clear tape. This will add the shine to the wallet um, on the outside. And it will make sure the paper doesn't get all gross and just it will it will just make it more durable and nicer. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. First thing that you're gonna do are you gonna is you're going to cut seven pieces uh, of your duct tape that are three and three fourths inches long and this is going to make your coin pouch in the center. Sorry for the lack of a pretty good angle here. So you're going to take one of your pieces of tape and the top of your Ziploc, one of the strips of Ziploc, and you're going to lay that on top of this. Sorry, you couldn't really see that, but you're going to need a little bit of adhesive on each side because these strips are 3 and 3 fourths inches and the Ziploc is 3 and a half inches. Um, and then you're just going to fold this over onto the um, tape. And I totally zipped that jet. That's annoying. <laughs> and yeah, so that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to repeat that for your other piece. After you have both pieces done like so, um, you're going to take another strip of tape and you're going to lay that on just below the Ziploc. Like so. So you're going to have that and then some adhesive there. And you're going to repeat that again with your other part. Do that twice. Now what you're going to do is you're going to remove one of these strips here. You're going to lay this down in any place. Let me move my camera. You're going to lay this down somewhere at a place where it's like in between some of the lines here, you know. Um, and then you're going to make this so it is six inches tall, like six inches in length. So we've made it about four inches now, and then we're going to go two inches below. Put this on. So that's what it should look like afterwards. Hope that was understandable. So now this is going to be six inches in length here. And when you fold it in half, it should be three and 
three inches tall. So after you've done that, you're going to take this, flip it over, and put your remaining two strips of tape on the other side. Like so. And then you can just fold your thing closed. And if a piece of tape comes up for a moment, it will be fixed in a second once you've smoothed this down. Like so. So your coin pouch should look about like this now. It should be three inches tall. And you're going to trim down the edges to make sure it's um, three and three fourths inches long or a little bit shorter. So after you've trimmed your coin pouch down, you're going to set that aside. And you're going to take your same color. And you're going to cut out a piece of tape that is three and a fourth inches long. And you're going to use a ruler, I forgot to mention this in the instructions, I'm pretty sure, to uh, cut that in half. So make sure you have a ruler for this as well. Like so. Then you're going to use these pieces of tape to seal up the sides, leaving about a fourth of an a fourth of an inch on the top of the coin pouch, like so. I'm going to fold this around, making sure not to press down the very top, um, because you're going to open your coin pouch and fold that in, so you have nice rounded edges, like so. And then you're going to repeat the same step with the other side. So now that you have got this, we're going to work on the expandable sections. You're going to take that same tape and cut out four six inch strips in total. I like to do these one or two at a time. I'm going to do them one at a time for this. Currently, like so. So this strip is six inches long, and then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it in half. And don't worry if you get it right away, you might waste some tape doing this because if you get crinkles in it, you may want to redo it. But I can't really do this super on camera, or else I'm definitely going to get some wrinkles but I'm just gonna fold it in half doesn't really matter if there's adhesive at the bottom there and then slowly press this down and make sure it's all flat and then this will be one of your expansions so you're gonna repeat this three more times so you have four pieces like this with a rounded edge on top So now that you have four pieces like so, um, I have some with like a little sticky on the edge that doesn't really matter, so don't really worry about that. Just like, try not to get any wrinkles here. I have an example um, from earlier. Eh. Just try not to get any wrinkles that are like this bad and really noticeable in them. Uh, and if you do, just scrap it and redo it, or if you can live with it, then just use that piece. Now what you're going to do is you're going to fold each of these in half, like so.
So you have four different sections that are like this. Now, you're going to cut two three and a quarter inch pieces, which are going to be used to attach the expandables to the coin pouch. And you're going to cut both of these in half using a ruler. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, you're going to take a piece and you're going to make sure the rounded edge is on top. It's sort of hard to explain how to attach expandables, so you're just going to have to watch me. So the rounded part is on top. This part is folding in here, so we're going to lay the strip down like this, so we have that, and then there's going to be this little amount on top. You're going to have some hanging over, you're going to take your coin pouch with the uh, open si opening side facing the same way as the rounded edge, and you're going to lay this down on top here. And you can fold it like that. And then you're going to slice right in between here with your exacto knife. And then take the remainder and fold it into the coin pouch. Like so. And then when you attach your next part, you're going to make sure you have it so the tape will be going around like this. So my tape's going to be on this side of the expansion part and then you're going to take this fold the flat part back like so and attach this the same way so the rounded edge is going to be where the opening of the coin pouch is I'm going to fold this and slice and you're going to fold this onto your expansion and then flip it over and fold this onto your other expansion so you have nice rounded edges at the top um, and this is my technique for rounded edges I don't know if anybody else uses the same technique but that's my technique and then you're going to repeat the same exact thing on the other side and I'm probably going to speed it up um, but just re-watch that part of the video if you don't understand okay So now you're going to have this part and it's going to look something a bit like this. Um, so now you're just going to set this aside and we're going to work on the outside of the wallet. So we just finished this part which is the inside right here and now we're going to work on the outside and this part of the wallet. You're going to take your tape like so and you're going to cut off a nine and three fourths inches piece like so um, I know these numbers are different I have them numbered down here so if you can't tell that's what I'm doing um, then you're going to take this put that right on the line here and you're going to try to make this as tall as possible so three and three fourths inches is about as tall as it possibly can go. So we're gonna just overlap these a small amount. And make sure it's straight up here. See mine isn't really straight up here. So I'm gonna just redo that. So now that I'm confident that this is straight and about as high as it can go, I'm going to trim this down so it's the same length here. 
And then I'm going to take my clear tape and clear tape the seam of this so when I pick it up it won't come apart. like so. And my clear tape ripped, so I'm going to redo it. So that's what you're going to do, and you can press out any of the air bubbles now, uh, if that's what you want to do. And so after you've, um, Clear tape the seam and squeeze out any air bubbles. Some will still be there, and some will come up when you p come back when you pick this up. But I don't really care about that. Um, you're going to pick this up and then plop it onto the back of the scrapbook paper. I'll show you what I mean. Let me just clear off my surface here. So I'm gonna pick this up. Remove this for a moment. Oh gosh, it's very stuck to my board. So I'm gonna pick this up. Like so, um, place this somewhere else for a moment, and then bring this back. And oops, I'm just gonna make sure that that writing doesn't show through, and then. I'm going to place this onto the back of the scrapbook paper, lining it up with the edge, and just sort of smoothing it down, like so. So now you have a sheet of that, and there shouldn't really be any sticking out around the edges. And now you're going to cut this out. Um, you can use scissors or your exacto knife or whatever you want to use for this, and it will take a little while, so I'm going to time lapse it. So now that you've cut this out, you should still have plenty enough to make like almost two more, probably. Um, And so you're going to have this, which is going to have the scrap paper on one side and then the tape on the other. And I trimmed it down. See, there's a little bit of whiteness there, but there isn't any, like, there isn't much overall. So I have that done. And it's nice and straight. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, duct tape once again, once again, and you're going to cut out a piece of tape that is um, 10 inches long. Uh, like so. And you're going to cut this in half. It doesn't actually have to be straight right now, but I'm going to use a ruler anyway. Because that's how I roll. <laughs> Like duck sample, get it? <laughs> and so we're going to take this and cut this in half. And yes, I have been switching my exacto knives around <laughs> during this tutorial, I'll deal with it. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to take the straighter side, so the one that was at the edge of the roll, and you're going to take your piece and line it up. So it's about a fourth of an inch below a line here. And then you're just going to make a quarter inch trim across the piece of paper. And if you mess up, you can peel up the tape. Do not worry. Do not worry. Um, however, sorry if my head's in the frame right now. I have to keep a really close eye when I'm doing this. So, uh, However, when you do peel up, Make sure that you're peeling up super, super slowly so your paper doesn't rip. So I've done that on um, one side. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. It's 
So now that you have the two sides done, you're going to do, you're going to take your tape and cut out a four inch strip. And you're going to cut this piece in half as well. Um, and you're going to do the trims on these edges now. Excuse me, exacto knife. Oh, that was not an exacto knife. Those are my scissors. Wow. Okay, um, and you're just going to line it up and do a quarter inch trim again and just make sure you're trying to do the trims all the same size and make sure you're doing them straight see that one was way too thin so I'm going to peel this up really slowly and redo it <laughs> So now that you have all your trims around the edges done, um, you're going to lay down your piece, your singular piece that's just like a thing now, and take your clear tape, and you're going to go from the bottom edge, it doesn't have to be all the way at the edge, but um, you're just going to clear tape the entire thing, and so this is what I'm going to do. Now you have it all clear taped over. Um, like so, you can squeeze out the air bubbles if you want. I'm not personally going to do that because I'm too lazy. Um, but you have this. Now what you're going to do is probably like the trickiest thing. Well, actually, this isn't the trickiest thing. Something I'm about to do is the trickiest thing. You're going to cut out the boxes here, um, so go right up to the edge, like so. And now you're going to take each of your edges, you know, lay them down upside down again, I mean right side up, I don't know how you want to call this. Um, and make sure you can see the edge clearly just by like running your fingernail along it or something. And make about a quarter inch trim. So you're just going to cut off any excess so there's about a little more than a fourth of an inch between the edge of the paper and the edge of the tape. I'll just show you. So now that you've done that trim it off and now you have about a quarter inch at the bottom here as opposed to like three-fourths of an inch. So you're going to do that with all of your sides. So now that you have that done, so you have like a fourth of an inch around each, you're going to fold over the ones that are shorter. here and what I like to do is I like to take a piece of clear tape that's a little less than three and three-fourths inches long and I cut it in half so I just take it and I approximate it just cut it in half a little bit and then I um, place it on the trims like so, so that I know they will not peel up. I'm always concerned about these smaller, shorter ones peeling, but not the bigger ones. I don't know why that is, but yeah. So now I'm going to do that with the other edge as well, like so. So we have that all clear taped, and the outside completely clear taped as well. 
Now it's time to attach everything. We're gonna take this, 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 um, this thing. I said this like 500 times, wow. Um, gonna fold it here. This is really hard to demonstrate, but we're gonna place this on the wallet. So it's a little bit below, even on both sides. And cut slits where it ends. So one on this side and one on this side. Sorry if you can't see that at all. And then you're gonna take this and attach one of the expandables by folding it over. I'm sorry that my hand is completely in the way. I'll show you on the other side. And if you have excess at the top, just fold that in. You're gonna take your piece, line it up with where your slit was, and just fold it over. Like so. Make sure it's stuck down really well. So you should have something that looks a bit like this now. Um, and now you're going to go up on each side about a quarter of an inch. Just approximate it on both sides. And make a small slit. And fold that in. And now you're going to take these pieces here and fold those over. I really hope you can tell what I'm doing. <laughs> And you're going to continue and make another slit there, and another slit there where the expandables, and you're just going to line up the expandables with the top here, and just sort of eyeball it, and attach. I know that was probably really hard to see, I'm really sorry. Um, and if you don't really like the way they're attached, you can redo it, because I didn't really like the way that that one was attached. And then you're going to do the same thing on this side. So you have your expandable, lining it up with the edge here, and then folding over the flap. Uh, you could not see a single thing, but I really hope you can understand what I'm doing, more or less. It's hard to explain, it's very hard to explain, so, I don't know. Hopefully you know how to make this type of wall already. <laughs> um, and you're going to fold over the edges here as well. And there you have it. So after you've finished, it should look something a bit like this. And it should be very smooth and shiny on the outside. Um, and you can just fold this over like so. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. You can add Velcro to keep it closed. Um, and that's all I have to say. I hope you used this tutorial well. I hope it was informational for you. I hope this can help you make other types of scrapbook wallets in the future as well. So you, sell this, so you know the sort of technique to do it. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye.